and we reviewed the content. And the hard part was at the beginning, we didn't know that this particular custom layout of the content. So we don't know what it was laid out and what it was for. And there wasn't enough time to reverse engineer the whole thing. But my bet is you could write your own and you can control your own. And there's many people here have been programming in Flash, any embedded device people and things like that. They know they can control their own Flash, whether or not it's in the format that an SSD disk is in. There's a lot to be said for that. Yes, sir? No, they are not higher quality. Only the very first block is guaranteed to be good. So in all of the stuff, that they, when they test it and they figure out what they're going to do, they guarantee 100% that the very first block is going to be good for 100,000 cycles and nothing else on the entire device is guaranteed. So everything else has to move around. So everything else is subject to wear leveling. So they have a small amount of code and they move everything else around. So there is a possibility that if that was vital code in the right spot, or for instance, there is a device area, the device area in the future, my understanding is supposed to be that there's gonna be a piece of code that gets loaded. That kind of like a hard drive does, like right now you have a diagnostic piece of code that's sitting in a area on the hard drive on the platter and it can be loaded at various times and diagnostics can be done. Well, if, if that's a necessary thing to do, you may lose that piece of code if that particular block happened to go bad and you had no control of it before, before you read something. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Next. Hammer. Securely delete. Hammer. That's the, you have no control over where those chips write content, move content, do something to content. Right now, I know of no way to control that. So, and everyone that I've talked to, all the way, I mean, I've done jobs, secret service, that, yeah, I mean, they don't know either. I mean, there's nobody who knows how to completely erase that content and never access it. However, the probability of accessing it is very slim right now because we just don't understand it enough. But that doesn't mean in 10 years somebody's not going to go back and pull that chip and do something with it. It's possible. I would agree with that. Even on SSD, that would be correct. If you just erased it or wiped it, that would not be correct. If you just run a pattern cycle over it and you erase things, in some cases, I'm not even sure it does anything because in certain cases, it seems like it might be ignoring the content that you're telling it to do because it knows it's the same pattern over and over and all it's going to do is hurt the cell. So it doesn't do anything. I've seen it ignore it and not do anything. So, yeah, yeah. Anybody else? Okay, let me get this guy. We'll come over there. We got time. When you're, when you're talking manufacturers, do they seem to have a bend one way or the other? I mean, you know, from your perspective... They don't like me. Well, well I, mean, <laughs> I, 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 I assume someone like you would want to be able to execute a, a, you know, a, a do not continue processing delete queue, whereas maybe someone like myself might want to be able to send a command that says, you know, flush delete queue. Right. Um, Um, pretty much so far, you can ask a certain number of questions before they just stop answering you, period. So I've moved from like vendor to vendor to vendor to vendor and gotten answers from each one. What's really cool is that the, each vendor will tell me more about the other vendor's product. So that's really neat. I've got vendors, especially like DRAM vendors, don't like Intel, for one. Um, because Intel claims to have this really fast stuff and these guys have been doing it for 30 years. But typically they will stop at some point in time when I ask them something that seems to be a... a but they don't want to work on that. That's not money for them. Their money is making it, getting out there fast, blah, 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 and they have all these claims about how long it's going to live, and it's probably not. And, it's, and the DRAM guys will tell you flat out that they've tested all the devices, and they will die fast, faster than what the manufacturer says, that it's all marketing hoopla, and that wear leveling is actually a farce, that it's not actually going to help out a lot. It doesn't increase the time of the cell's life. It increases the time of the entire device, because it's moving the content someplace else. But how many of you still have the same chip that you bought in 2001, which was probably like, I don't know what, 12 meg, I don't know. You're still using it. You got one PDF on it, and that's it. So, I mean, even 128 meg sticks, if you haven't upgraded and you're not still using, I mean, they're just not gonna continue to be in use. You've upgraded and you moved on. And uh, its lifespan might be a lot shorter than we expect it to be but they're not talking to me as conveniently as they should. I got a few. I got like five that will help me, but... Yes, sir, in the back. You made the comment that uh, with some of the newer materials that may change. Which way is it going to change? 
Some of the newer material might change things. People are experimenting with new types of, um, I don't know all of them, but I've seen a few, like the new four, four layers uh, MLC chips are a new type of, of material, and that it's not using the same old way that they've been doing silicon with the dopant. So they're experimenting with new ways of making this grid out of newer materials that would last longer. So I hear some problems with insulation between the grid and things like that, but that's, I don't really know that much information. It's still, they're trying to keep it all pretty secret. So let me get over here. I know, yes, sir. Um, well, you know, that was the idea behind SMART, but SMART is really not accurate, and I mean, keep in mind, vendors are responsible for the table that's written there for what SMART is and what those thresholds and things are going to be, so initially when you get them from the manufacturer, they're kind of lying to you, because what would happen if they reported SMART data right up front that you got, you know, 75% of these sectors are bad, you're just going to send it in for warranty, and then it costs them money, so they want to wait till after your warranty. I'm just suggesting. <laughs> I'm suggesting, I'm not declaring that that's true, but how many people have gotten a hard drive and smart has been off when you bought it? People know? Some people know. I know. <laughs> I know it's off. So in most cases, it is off. It's not on. So yeah, no, they're not. They give you some tools and some testing, but if you've ever run one too, a diagnostics tool from the manufacturer, it'll give you like a code like, you know, pound 7105, and then you got to figure out what that means. And if you call the people, they'll just tell you, hey, in our table, it says replace. That's what it says, and that's generic. But there are other higher-end diagnostic pieces of equipment. I got a couple of three thousand, six thousand, ten dollar, thousand. You know, right? It's not convenient for you, but I, there are pieces of equipment that do do that. Most of them from Russia. But yes, yeah, yes, sir. Two questions. One, do you recommend ion flash when it comes out? I'm not sure if I recommend it yet. Um, I, I can't really say it looks like from the spec that there may be because they're trying to do some general things to make it work for everybody kind of thing and that spec work because there's only two manufacturers that are, that are doing that now. There's like 10 people in the list that are working together to make the spec work, but the other eight aren't doing it, only the two. <laughs> so I don't know how good it's going to be and I haven't had testing done, but I know that certain things like some of the Sony chips typically are smaller because they use a different way of managing the material and things like that so they're slower than what you're expecting from like a like a SanDisk CF or something like that. And just so you know, CF changed a couple of times. They've done NOR, they've done NAND, they've done, they've changed a couple of different things along the way and you don't know what's inside of a CF unless you know when it was made and what it is. It can change quite a bit. Do, do you care about the quality of the chip when you buy it, basically if you buy the cheap stuff versus the... Um, I would say it does matter, but there is one important factor too that I forgot to mention earlier, which is the fact that certain chips are much slower than other chips. And so you're only really reporting you the speed time. They're not really the, write, the read time, not the speed of the write time. But you will also notice too, if you run any of your own tests, like for instance, you go back and get a one gig memory stick and you put it in your machine and you copy stuff to it, that if you bought a four gig memory stick and you copy stuff to it, your four gig memory stick, just by the nature of how they made it, is four times slower than the one gig memory stick. So, but I would say there is a quality difference because you know that quote that I had from the manufacturer? You're getting that second set of really crappy memory sticks. So you go to a micro center, you got a micro center near you? Yeah, you could be buying crap, but again, you know, the whole point of, you know, it knowing that a block is bad, it's probably still more stable than some, but I have had people call me, I've done recoveries on them, and so like you buy the cheap generic stuff at Micro Center or whatever, um, those go bad faster, and they're slower chips. So I have noticed that. So that is true. Yes, sir? I'm out of time. Well, it's like over, right? Like we're... So uh, I'm sure you guys still have more questions, but unfortunately we got to clear the room to prepare for uh, Hacker Halo, uh, which is going to happen at 6.30 here. So uh, I'm sure he'll be happy to answer all questions uh, outside.
Pepsider has those generic chips in there. Uh, they're basically the crap stuff. And, uh, the last, right, you bought eight good sticks here and a uh, buck or something like that. Did they all go behind the screen? What? Uh, no. 